I'm glad we're trying to tackle it because I think it's something, you know, it's very easy to say over and over again, secure the border. Uh, it's much harder to define in objective terms what that really looks like. Uh, as we say over and over again, secure the border, I was proud to co-sponsor along with Senator McCain a bill fully paid for last year that added $600 million to border security, including uh, drones. Well, imagine my surprise when we put $600 million in fully paid for that that is part of what was cut in uh, the CR that was passed by the House of Representatives. So I am willing to bet that most of the folks that were excited about passing that CR in the House of Representatives, I bet they said secure the border a few times during their campaigns. And so I was uh, surprised when uh, we got a bill that ba basically took some of the money that we're paying for these $600 million and used it for something else. I'm a big believer that one of the problems we've had is a failure to be aggressive about employer enforcement. Now, uh, it's up. The audits are up uh, the last couple of years. The fines are up a, the last couple of years. And I would like um, uh, all of you to comment on how fundamental employer enforcement is because these folks aren't coming across the border for a vacation. But I just think it is a real opportunity uh, for deterrent if these employers think something serious is going to happen to them. And I, I agree 100 percent with you, and it's my understanding, I think it's fairly evident from the statistics that for various reasons, the, there's been a shift away from employer enforcement uh, in the last couple of years by ICE. And uh, it's, uh, they're doing audits, uh, they're doing intelligence-based uh, investigations, but uh, they've diminished from what they were doing two and three years ago. And I think that's a concern. I'm a big believer that if you started putting a few of these employers in handcuffs and you actually prosecuted them, when they have done this over and over again and you can prove knowingly, um, and you know, when you've got seven or eight people working at your place on the same social security number, give me a jury, I can prove knowingly. There have been very few instances where I think employers have been held accountable for knowingly and repeatedly uh, violating the law when it comes to illegal immigration, and I'd like to continue to work on that.